is it, is it, so you, you have been a, a great student of conservative internal dynamics for a long time. Would you say it is now uh, dead certain that Rishi Sunak becomes prime minister? Well, as Darren said just now, um, we shouldn't be surprised by anything, but I'm not a betting man, but I'm going to say, yes, Rishi will be the leader of the Tory party and therefore prime minister uh, pretty soon. Uh, I would expect it to be within 24 hours. And, and yet we saw that being prime minister doesn't necessarily mean you have control of your party. That was the big thing <laughs> that Liz Truss found, I suppose, in her six or seven weeks in office. Is it possible to get all of the disparate warring factions of the Conservative Party along one line voting together? Is this a governable party? I think um, Liz Truss's experience highlighted how difficult it is mm. to come into power at, in government with a party that is not wholeheartedly behind you. The reason Definitely. I made such what? a firm statement, and I'm not, as you know, naturally inclined to be absolutely categoric about things, normally I'm cautious, is that we already have, as Darren pointed out, more than half the Tory MPs behind Rishi, which was a thing that Liz Truss never had. Uh, and that does change the circumstances mm. and makes it easier to bring people together. But I would say one thing, if Rishi does become PM, what he should not do is go for another carve out, mass carve out of ministers. In a, in a gesture of unity, what he should do is keep large numbers of the ministers that we have at the moment. That would be good for the Tory party, but it would also be good for government because civil servants must be tearing their hair out purely because they're dealing with one minister after another. And Lord Hayworth, I mean, even if he may have more of a, a mandate from the parliamentary Conservative Party, he doesn't necessarily have that democratic mandate in the same way that Boris Johnson obviously did in 2019. So whether or not he'll be able to turn around the polls that are so far uh, it is an open question. Therefore, can you see a possibility of a general election being called um, in the next few months rather than waiting until uh, the next couple of years? No, I think we're going for a general election in a couple of years' time. Um, Rishi Sunak will say I'm going back to the mandate of 2019 in terms of most of the manifesto, although obviously some of the circumstances with COVID and Ukraine have changed issues dramatically. But no, I don't think there'll be a general election in the near future. Um, mm. And uh, Rishi Sunak is inheriting a very, very difficult set of circumstances economically. The figures for not only Britain, but for Western Europe have looked pretty poor uh, over the last few days. Uh, and the prospects, he's not going in to something that's easy. And I think he'll say, I need time in the interests of the country to take the difficult decisions which uh, are facing us.